Hello. Karibu Nisan. You're most welcome. Asante. Uh, um, Nafurai, we are all on time. I'm happy that we all kept time and we are happy to join the product launch. Um, I'll start by introducing myself. My name is Ronald Samuel. I am a DC manager, Tanzania. And um, just on the same note, to keep you all focused, our offices are located in Mwenge, ITV, light, uh, light industry area. You are all welcome. And uh, the massive team that I have here will be very happy to serve you. Uh, this evening, I am joined with my upline, who is our uh, uh, sales director, East Africa, Mr. Paul Mwatu. Uh, we also joined uh, with, with someone with, uh, from the product, um, we were also joined with the, our product director from South Africa that I'm not supposed to introduce, but Paul will take over. And uh, Paul, without wasting any more of the time, I would like to invite you so that you can, we can start officially our, our meeting. Karibu sana, Paul. Thank you so much, uh, um, Ronald, for starting off our meeting today. I'm just trying to get uh, my slides in, uh, <clears throat> In place. So thank you so much and good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you so much, Ronald, for starting off our meeting, uh, which is a product launch uh, for the Tanzania uh, country. But uh, today we are also very privileged to have the rest of the East Africa country joining us for the same reason today. Because yeah. every time you get uh, product knowledge, it gives you um, more upper hand for you to be able to push it in the market. So they, even if the product is available in our East Africa countries, there's nothing wrong to be able to be part of this meeting today. And then we can be able to learn more. And, and uh, maybe from tomorrow, we will start selling this product for those who are not selling, because a lot of research have been put in our products for the company of Nilev. So I just want to take this opportunity to welcome everybody who's on this call today. Our Tanzania Wate Karibuni Sana Kwa Mkutana Wetu wa uh, siku ya leo kwa manufaa ya uzinduzi wa bidhaa yetu ya week jam hoel katika soko la Tanzania and uh, we are going to be able to use the two languages for the benefit of the people on this call today and at one point we could be in the, uh, translating if we feel there is something that uh, we need to be able to understand in a different language so my name is to welcome you my name is Paul Mwatu as uh, Ronald has been able to introduce you to, um, to introduce me and I'm the director of sales for New Life East Africa. And I'm truly excited about this opportunity of a New Life uh, because it has changed my life. You know, for the last 14 years, this is what I do. And uh, my passion has been speaking to people and helping them to be able to change their lives in one way or the other. And through the company of New Life, I've been able to see that happen. And uh, today, we are just going to listen to some, you know, exciting stories about some of the products that we are launching today and how you can be able to use them uh, to be able to continue to achieve a good deal. So I just want to say welcome to everybody. And uh, in case uh, we, we, we have some guests who are on this call today, because uh, I know we could be having customers who are on this call, I just want to quickly take you through uh, the history of the company. As you can see there, our company was started back 1958. So we are talking about uh, more than 60 years since when this company was started back in US California. And in East Africa, we are about uh, 24 years now since when the company was started. And one of the key things that has been able to bring us to where we are today is the research that we are going to learn more from the expert today. Today, we are quite uh, lucky because we have one of our experts on the call, call today. And uh, we proud ourselves as a company that has been able to really being in the front line to pioneer the cellular nutrition. So we'll be able to tell you more about that. And uh, we've, we, we also, you know, uh, we have for the last uh, over 62 years when the company started off, we have been able also to be able to spread in a couple of countries across the world. And within those countries, it's, you know, we have amazing stories for the achievements that are, uh, the products that's done, the opportunity has done. So those are some of the things that you'll be able to listen as we move forward. And today is a milestone 
you know, in Tanzania, when we are launching a product that we know it will going to help the people of Tanzania in a bigger way. So the other thing is that we have exciting stories, some of those which we're gonna listen today, people have been able to interact with these products, they had numerous challenges, and today their story is different. And when we come to the business part of it, because you can also be able to build a business with the products that we are talking about today. One thing which is very unique about the company of Neolife, it is that we support you. You are in business for yourself, but not by yourself. So we know you want to succeed in this business and you have been able to come out to be able to do amazing things and uh, good things for yourself but you don't walk alone. Most of the other uh, uh, conventional businesses will be able to realize when you start something, you're just on your own. In your life, when you join, you have your upline and the people who came before you who have been able to experience uh, this business um, um, before you. And they'll be able to help you, to support you, to be able to make sure you understand what they have been able to go through. And some of the mistakes that they have made you don't have to make them because they'll be able to guide you on how to be able to build a business so you are lucky to be able to do it even faster. So some of the foundation and the infrastructure that the company has in place, it is that we have a warehouse and home delivery. So the products that we are launching and many other products that are available in our, in our, are available in our market, you don't need to wait for them to come all the way from US. We have a warehouse, a place where you can be able to interact with them and we are doing home delivery. So if you don't want to come to the warehouse, you can buy your products online and they can be delivered at the comfort of your home. So it's best quality products, the test that has been done, they're just amazing. And um, another thing that you'll be able to find in the opportunity is bonuses are paid on time. We don't give excuses. When that time comes of the month, when we are supposed to pay you. We have been able to realize so many people and organization, especially this time of COVID-19, not able to pay people even after they have been able to do the work that they are supposed to do. But one unique thing about this organization, our bonuses and paychecks, they all come to us on time as they have been promised. So it's a, we have a proven track record of success and there's a global team. So. You know, as I said, we're in over 50 countries and there's a team of people, professionals, you know, working for the company who will be able to help you to be able to do your business as if you are doing it back home. So it is an international opportunity with global support team who are committed to be able to help you to continue to showcase the opportunity. And the one most important thing, personal development, you'll be able to get it from this opportunity. And that is why we can't wait for you to be able to use the products that we are launching today, but also give the opportunity a chance through the person who invited you to this call. So our distributors on the call, I'm quite happy and excited because I know today we're going to have an interactive session about our products and the research behind it. And by the time we finish this call, you'll be in a better place to be able to talk to people about the product. So right about now, I want to go all the way to South Africa and bring a lady who is quite passionate about the products of Neo Life, who is on the on the call today, to be able to share with us uh, 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 about her life with Neo Life and how she has been able to be part of this opportunity and most important, to be able to launch our product tonight. So I just want to call our, our product director for Africa, Liz Gitz to be able to share with us tonight. Liz, if you can hear me. I can hear you, thank you, yeah. So, um, hi everybody. Good evening to all of you in, in East Africa. Very nice, it's so nice to be able to talk to you and I'm far away and you're far away. And we're even on different time zones in some places, but um, fantastic that we can actually talk to each other. That's quite amazing. Something that positively came, has come out of COVID is that we're all talking to each other much more. So just a little bit of intro into myself. Um, yes, I joined the company, oh, it'll be 30 years next year. And um, so I've had a long association with them. And at times I went off, because I'm a dietitian by profession. So I actually went off for a few years to actually perform as a, as a private practicing dietitian. But I actually started to realize 
that in actual fact, trying to get people to change their food habits so that they can have a healthier lifestyle is extremely difficult. And I think we, we can all nod our heads and know that, particularly as we become adults. So we need to teach our children good habits so that they actually don't have to change them as they get older. So, um, of course, what's happened is that we've become societies of just taking medicines and we take a medication or a drug to sort out our cholesterol or whatever issues we have and never really learn anything about what is required of us from our food and what we should be expecting from our food. And that's really what the motivation is from, from Neolife's point of view, is to take these, these dietary issues, these dietary components that should be in our diet, but for various reasons, not just because of our own personal choices. Sometimes, it's, most often, it's the food industry that has created certain gaps in our diets. And um, we at Neolife have said, well, let's go to those foods, take the nutrients that have been removed due to processing or refining and all the things that we do now in our Western world and Western way of living, and put them back into our diet Yes, we deliver them in a different form. You know, sometimes they're in a powder or perhaps they're in a capsule, but they come from that food or from that plant. And so that's extremely important. So that's the kind of the way we're going to sort of launch off from today. Um, and I'm going to show you a few slides and we're going to talk about wheat germ oil because that, in fact, is coming from the, the, the plant, from the wheat plant. Um, and even though it's a staple around the world, there are things missing from that food. And that's basically largely due to the, to the way um, the food industry has actually processed some of our foods. So I'm just going to get to my, to my slides. Um, just also perhaps just in my chatting, um, position our company, as, as Paul said, you know, we, we've been around 63 years now and in, in, in South Africa, 50 years this year, which is quite amazing. Um, and that just shows you that we are very passionate and we're very committed and we are very, very well accepted around the world. And, um, but we can be very grateful, all of us, using our products that we have a scientific advisory board, who many of whom have been around for almost that period of time, um, and who are committed to, to really turning our product destiny over to science. Nothing is really done without us being able to verify it scientifically. And there is so much information out in the world that one can't expect that a group of people, however clever they are, and however experienced they are, can do it all by themselves. So we, we interact with a global science network, which, which is due, to our credit because all sorts of organizations and quality um, scientists actually rub shoulders with us and, and help us and we help them and we exchange information. So the products really are leading edge and science moves on. So sometimes products change, sometimes information even changes. And I think we should be, for those of us who are in this business um, and, and sharing information, Sometimes information does change because science is an investigative tool and we investigate nature and we try to understand it. And as science develops, we get to understand more. And sometimes we learn something new and have to change our angle about what we were saying. So that's just to give you a sense of, it's, it's always moving. It's an area that's moving. And probably some of you think that's very really true. It can, it can be confusing. Nutrition, the science of nutrition is a very, very rapidly changing science. And you might think, well, I don't know what I'm supposed to eat anymore because everybody's got a new theory. And I think you're going to find at near life that we don't, we don't follow theories and fads and change just because it's fashionable or it's likely to make a sale. That's not the point. The point is the human body hasn't really changed, but our diet has. And those two are not marrying up very well. And that's really where this discord and dis-ease is, is, is often rearing its head. So today we're going to talk, or this evening we're going to talk a little bit about Wheat germ oil. So let me just get to my slide. Right, so we started there. So yeah, so I know that some of you in East Africa already have the product, but in Tanzania, we're going to introduce it this evening. And um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a product that has been in our, in our range for a long time, because obviously wheat is a, one of the basic staples around the world. Um, in fact, it's, it's part of the, the grass family and provides staple basic to, to, to many populations around the world. So it might seem like, well, we've all heard of wheat before, but interestingly, you'll get to see how wheat has changed and how you and I don't really get what we think we should be getting. So let's just move along now. Thank you. Right, so this is pretty much what the, the grain looks like. Some of you would be familiar. If, 
Others of us are probably, there are many people who've never really seen, you know, the grain in its natural form. They'd only see it in a processed form, perhaps in a loaf of bread or a cereal that ends up on, on, their, on their table every morning. So, yeah, there's a little sort of um, ears, if you like, they've got different names. And it's really that spike at the end there that we're interested in, because that's where the little kernels are actually attached. And it really, I suppose, depends on the variety, but they're usually about 35 or up to 50 grains of these little kernels that are attached um, to that ear or sheath, as it's called. And then that is what we take off the plant, and it's inside that little kernel that we are actually interested um, in the nutrient value of it. And that is how we eventually end up with wheat germ oil. So this is actually what the little kernel looks like, um, just to give you a sense of the fact that this is the way, the way nature delivers it. And this is how we would have investigated it from a scientific point of view. It doesn't mean that you and I always get it like this in our food supply. So just, yeah, just to give you a sense of the, the different the three basic components, and I've done them one in a more detailed way and the other simply a little cross section. So the endosperm, 80% of the whole grain is made up of this starchy substance predominantly, although it has protein and it does have other nutrients in, in small amounts but we would consider it to be the starchy component of, the, of that grain, but it really stores, that provides the energy actually for, for, the whole, for the whole little kernel so that it can actually sprout and create another plant. So very important part, but not the only component. And then of course, this little kernel will, is, is got to be protected. And so it has a rather rough and tough outer layer, like a husky layer that protects the seed. And that in itself is, is fibrous, so it, can it provides that fiber to our diet that we're familiar with. And of course, it also provides various vitamins and trace minerals. There's a whole different variety of them. But just to be aware that every component of this little kernel actually has a nutritional value. And then, of course, the germ, which is being protected. That is really the reproductive part of that, that whole um, plant. And provided it's intact, that plant will continue to, to be able to sprout and reproduce and, and carry on the, the, the actual crop. So it's small, but it's very nutrient rich. And just some of the more well known nutrients that are in there that we'll talk about tonight will be the vitamin E that's in there. There are some B vitamins. Um, and very importantly, there's some natural oils. Um, they are what we would call unsaturated fats. And another term that we make use of is that they are essential fats. Um, and we're going to talk a lot about that this evening, so I'll explain that a bit more. But that's actually, this is where we're going to get the content of what we're putting into, in terms of our product. Um, so it is a whole grain. And in order for a, for a, a grain to be considered, or a, or a food to be considered whole grain, it must have all these components in it. The, the endosperm, the bran, and the germ must be there. And even if, the, if, this, if this plant as a crop will be, it will be processed slightly into a way that we can make it edible to you and I, there still has to be the same proportion of these, these three components in that final food in order for it to be called a whole grain. And what we'll realize that of course is that doesn't usually happen nowadays. A lot of this is processed away and we end up with parts of it, not, not the complete, not even sometimes a representation of one of those parts. So in order for it to be a whole grain, it has to have these three components re represented, and they have to be in this, in this sort of proportion. Right, so you can see that this is a unique source of, of highly valued and, and, and concentrated foods or nutrients. And in fact, probably, I mean, we've been eating wheat for a long time, and it's possible that our, the, the way we ate wheat initially was we probably just took out that, off that sort of outer husky coating and pretty much just chewed on the, actually the whole the whole wheat berry or the kernel, um, once you've taken that coating off, it was soft enough to be able to chew on. And that's probably how we started eating um, our wheat in the first place. And then of course, as you know, civilization, as we call it, moves on, um, the Industrial Revolution changed pretty much the way we eat most things. And, and many things changed with mechanization and automation. And we started to be able to do different things with the, with the crops that we were growing. And that's the way we changed wheat. We started to refine it, we started to mill it, um, do all sorts of different things and create whatever we could. And then eventually it became almost a fine powder as we know flour today. So we, we removed that outer bran layer 
and we actually remove the germ, which is, you can see from the original little picture I showed you, that's, that's kind of the powerhouse of wheat. And the reason why that was done is because it's an oil in there and oils go rancid or they oxidize when they get exposed to oxygen. And so the shelf life of this new created flour that we were going to use will obviously be compromised. So the food industry in its wisdom said, well, we'll just get rid of it. And so it became things that we've then fed to our, you know, to our livestock and they, they were the healthy ones, not us. And then of course, also they found that the, the baking properties of the flour were much more effective if we actually didn't have things like the, that bran and we certainly didn't have the, the fats or the oils in there. So that's actually what happened. So it, it, over time, these, these basic components got processed and refined out of our food. And you and I become the recipient of that. And after generation after generation, it becomes a norm. And we don't, we forget to, we don't even realize what it is we don't have anymore, which is why I'm just going back to the plant and actually reminding us that this is what it should be and this is how it's grown, but you and I don't always achieve it like that. So pretty much they've removed many of the nutrients that you and I need. Yeah, so it was a modern solution to things, but it created new problems. And that's exactly what's happening in our lives today. We don't get the nutrients we should have. We don't realize that we perhaps are even lacking them or we're getting them in a form that is not the way they were originally you know, planned in nature. And so if we don't use nature's blueprint, we're veering right off the path and our human body, which as I say, hasn't changed as fast as the food is changing, simply isn't able to recognize things sometimes, isn't getting what it needs. And that's when disease and concerns start to, to rear their head. So what have we lost? Well, we lost those oils I talked about, and those are called essential fatty acids that was in the germ. And essential isn't just sounding because it's important. It's essential that we have it. Essential in, in nutrition actually means that we cannot make it in our bodies. So it is essential as a nutrient, and we have to get it from the food that we eat. So if we don't, if we don't get those from the food we eat, we don't get it. And well-known essential fatty acids would be in families called omega-6 and omega-3. You've probably heard of them. They're the polyunsaturated fats. So those terms pop up in our, in our industry and we hear about them, but we don't always know how to piece them together always. So essential fatty acids are from the polyunsaturated fat group that you probably hear of. And the omega-3 and the omega-6 are the, the families within that group but we aren't actually able to make them and we have to get them from our foods. Also what's been removed from this, when we've discarded that the oils in the, from the grain are something called phytosterols. Now phyto simply means plant. And it's a word you're going to see, whatever you pick up these days, there'll be some reference to phyto, phytonutrient or various ways, but that's just a term that's been used out there. And sterols are, components, they're also part of the sort of fatty component of this plant, and they're found in the plant cell membranes, and they have in turn have also been removed. And then other substances, which for fancy names for them, tocopherols and tocotrienols, are really the vitamin E family. Um, and they are rich in this germ that is in the kernel. And of course, if the food industry's taken it out, well, we've lost some of the vitamin E. And it's a very powerful antioxidant, which is a protector. So we'll develop this little, little bit, and you can just can see by just changing our style of processing our foods, you and I are simply not getting some of the things our bodies really need. So we get, you know, damaging reactions that happen, um, and we've got what we would could call the evil twins, and you and I are exposed to these reactions all the time, and they're called damaging only if they're not managed properly. But processes of inflammation and oxidation happen in you and I all the time. But our foods are meant to come up and be our backup to be able to neutralize them, manage them, you know, discard them if necessary, and but manage them. That's really what, what our foods are supposed to be doing. So if those nutrients are not there, sometimes these two members of this family, these evil twins, they get a hold on our bodies and that's actually where disease can sometimes take hold. So a poor diet, I mean, if I just look at what's been removed from just the wheat, would consider that not a particularly nutritious um, food anymore, can result in chronic inflammation. And chronic inflammation, which we, we don't always feel it because we, don't, we can't see it, but it's happening in our bodies all the time. And it's very much creating a fertile environment for, for disease. And it causes a stress in our body 
or oxidative stress, as we call it. So that's where these two come in. And it sounds complex, but it, you know, it's, it's actually an interesting thing. All of us, as I say, have to have these processes. What is oxidation? You know, we breathe in oxygen and we use it for processes in the body and we wouldn't be able to live without it. But every activity that we have, if you think about putting the kettle on, it boils the water and there's a byproduct, steam. You, you create a, a fire, lovely and warm and it, and it performs a function, but it's got a byproduct, smoke. And so if we didn't manage the byproduct or the waste product of an activity, that's when it becomes destructive. So we need to have a chimney in our, in our room where we're making our fire so that we can enjoy the fire and not worry about the byproduct. And that burning of the fire is basically oxidation. So in our bodies, that's the very same thing that happens. Every bit of every little cell in our body is like a mini little factory. And so it's doing its work, whatever it is. It might be a heart cell, it might be a kidney cell, a skin cell, whatever. It's doing something and making something. And as a result, it's got a byproduct. And so it pushes that byproduct out of the cell and says, well, come on, you, you get, you know, the body must manage it. And so the body has to have, if you like, lots of chimneys. It has to have ways of getting rid of substances. And so often, that, and those substances that create the chimneys, if you like, I'm going to use that as an example. The chimney was the way we got rid of some of the waste. So if we can have means by which we get rid of the waste from our cells, our body's working properly. And where do we get that help? We get it from some of the foods we eat. They actually, the reasons why we eat some fruits and vegetables is that they give us those agents that will help to neutralize the waste. So if we don't eat that group of foods, we can't help our body neutralize the waste that it normally would want us to do. And that's where we get problems in the body. The body has to store that waste somewhere. It creates another bit of inflammation. And so the cycle goes on and we don't, we don't neutralize it. So for example, if we just go back to that, 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 that fire, kept us lovely and warm. But I can tell you, if we didn't have a proper chimney, we wouldn't be worrying about how nice and warm the fire was. We'd be worrying about the waste product because it's the waste product that would actually kill us. The smoke would eventually kill us. So if our bodies haven't got the right chimneys and haven't got the right tools, we are going to suffer some sort of disease or, or discord in our body because the waste substances will get stored in our fatty tissue for a while, but they will also get destructive around the body. So that's why we use anti oxidants. So we have oxidation, oxygen comes in, we use it, we create something, we have oxidation going on, and then we have waste. And we have to neutralize the waste products of oxidation, and our antioxidants help us do that. And they come in food, in our normal foods. But if we don't eat that group of foods, we don't have something to, to get rid of the waste. And so this is how the cycle carries on. And so then we cause more inflammation and discord in the body, which in turn upsets the whole or the whole balance. And we end up often having chronic inflammation. So that's just to give you a sense of when there are gaps in our food intake, they do have consequences. Right, so, so let's look at the benefits of, of wheat gem oil. Because you saw from the initial picture, it's rich in essential fatty acids. We can't make those essential fatty acids, but the body needs them and, the, and where they go, is to our cell membranes. Now, and people who are in Neolife will be very familiar with the concept of the human body being literally trillions of, of cells. And they're all packed together and then they become some sort of tissue and, and an organ. And those cells are all very specific and have their job of work to do. But they each one are, are coated with a little membrane or a protection. But that, and that is really our, our way in which the community of cells talk to one another. They, they're closely packed and the cell membranes have to be receptive. They, re they receive the nutrients. They enable the nutrients to get into that particular cell if that's where they're supposed to be. Or they keep nutrients out that are not, or anything out that's not supposed to get in there. They really are our protectors. So these essential fats, polyunsaturated ones, the ones that we can't make, they gravitate to those cell membranes because the cell membranes are oily. So fats gravitate to fats. And they keep those cell membranes in good condition. They make sure that they're flexible, that they're responsive, that they're receptive, and that they get the job done. They allow nutrients in and waste out. So if we haven't got those from our foods, where are we going to get them? How are our cell membranes going to work on our behalf? They simply aren't. Also, the vitamin E that we that is in the wheat germ, that is a protector. It's an antioxidant. It's one of those chimneys that I talked about. It will help to manage waste 
that that little cell has produced. And it will also protect the cell from anything that's trying to come into the cell that shouldn't be there. So vitamin E is an extremely important protector or an antioxidant um, to make sure that we neutralize waste. Perfectly normal process. When you and I even eat food, we create waste in our body, a byproduct of that activity. And something like vitamin E, along with many other antioxidants, will neutralize that waste, change it into something else, put it somewhere, or help the body eliminate it. So it's a very important nutrient to be present. And then these phytosterols that you that were also in the germ, if you look at the word, I said phyto was plant, and the rest of the word sterol is very the same family as cholesterol. It's got the similar structure, but they're not the same thing. And the reason why they're not is because phyto means plant, and you don't find cholesterol in plants. You only find cholesterol in animals. So any animal foods, if you've got fats from those foods, they may well have cholesterol, but you don't get cholesterol out of a plant. But the structure is very similar. They come from a sterile sort of structure. So what happens, and is interesting here, is that when we eat plant foods that have these plant sterols, which are from the membranes of those cells, you know, they We've got cell membranes and the plants have also got cell membranes and these phytosterols are actually present in the cell membranes of plants. So when we eat them, that's how we get these plant nutrients. And because they come from the similar sterile family or structure, when we eat them, they actually are recognized by our body in the same structure and they actually compete with our own cholesterol in our digestive tract, which is valuable to us because it means that our cholesterol, the cholesterol that we might eat may not well get absorbed. It might just get passed through the system. So phytosterols are very important. They have a similar structure to our body's um, cholesterol. And when they are consumed, they compete with our cholesterol that we've eaten and they compete for absorption. And often they win and we don't end up with having quite so much cholesterol from our food um, in our bodies. And so, so that's a huge advantage. So you consider that if all of these things have been taken away and processed out of our foods, but, you know, we're not starting from a very good, very good place. Right, so some of the other benefits and vitamin E, reproductive benefits are things that have become something that people have become used to. I know that many people are using them, um, these nutrients from wheat germ oil in particular, for there are many, many benefits, as you can see. I mean, it's fundamental to our general health, but I'm just going to touch on some of the things that certainly people in South Africa um, are benefiting from. So the vitamin E, for example, that we have now put back into our wheat germ product. This is what we've done. Remember I said foods are um, the food processing removes us and near life have said, let's recognize where the gaps are. Let's go to those foods, put them back in a different delivery form. So we've put in pure wheat germ oil into a capsule. And so we have now vitamin E in our capsule and we can put it into our diet. So when we take the wheat germ oil capsule, we are getting some vitamin E. And remember, vitamin E is an antioxidant. It's a protector. But what it also does is increases blood flow and, and oxygen flow um, within the reproductive system. And this is for men and women. Um, it decreases oxidative stress because remember, all parts of our body are made of cells, whether they're in the reproductive process or whether they're, as I say, skin cells, eye cells, whatever, they're all cells. And so they need to be protected. They need antioxidants. They have waste. And that process goes on right through the body. So the fact that we have brought vitamin E back into our diet through wheat germ oil in a capsule means in our reproductive system, we've increased blood flow and oxygen flow. We can help to reduce oxidative stress because we can manage waste. And these antioxidant benefits work against a variety of different reproductive disorders. And I'm not going to go into every single one because you know people are different and different situations occur. But just know that in the reproductive processes, male and female, this wheat germ oil product has a lot of value. Um, it's, we have brought back the essential fatty acids because we've gone to the wheat germ of that plant and we've taken the oils and we've encapsulated them for you. And so they will work on all the cell membranes. And as I say, whether it's the ovaries or whether it's sperm, it's, got a, it's a cell and it's got a membrane. And so that has to be in good condition and have to be working properly. Now, I know that a lot of the men favor this product a lot, so I thought, well, I'd favor them and just explain what was happening, that the membranes of the 
of the sperm cell is very sensitive to oxidation, so it's easily damaged, and that affects its performance. Um, and so sometimes it doesn't actually get, you know, where it should be, so conception doesn't actually happen. Um, so very important that we look after every single component of the body. And of course, reproduction is, is a survival of the species. So vitamin E has this positive effect in protecting the human sperm, and it's one of the best antioxidants, actually, for the male reproductive system. Remember, there are other antioxidants. We get other components from fruit and vegetables. Vitamin C is an antioxidant. Um, the different colors in our fruit and vegetables are antioxidants. We're talking about vitamin E because that's what, that is what is present and important in the wheat germ. And so this is what, it, this, is what this product does specifically um, in the reproductive system. And of course, it therefore increases our reproductive function. If everything is working properly and able to perform at its best, then we have a much greater chance of the whole body performing better, of conception actually happening. And of course, performance of the normal male reproductive system, which is important to men, and I won't elaborate on that, but I think they realize what I mean, that the whole body and the whole reproductive system is, has a greater opportunity to work optimally for, for everybody. So that's how in the reproductive system, the components that are lost commonly in the foods that we have now, we've refined, we're eating breads that, doesn't, that don't have all these components. We need to bring them back into our diet. And when we do, that's why our bodies perform better. So reproductive system, very important for this product. And then also heart health benefits. These are the, these are the two things that I want to talk about tonight. Um, and here again, look at exactly the same nutrients I'm talking about. Vitamin E will improve blood flow and oxygen around the body, and it will reduce, reduce oxidative stress. And um, oxidative stress is damage. So it can be damage to blood vessels, for example, um, which have a whole lot of ramifications um, if our blood vessels get damaged, because substances then start to, to get attached to the blood vessel wall. That's how we eventually get a narrowing of the arteries or blood vessels. And there's a whole lot of different components. So, making sure that we don't have any damage to our blood vessels is extremely important for our health in general. Um, and obviously it starts with our heart. The essential fatty acids that we've brought back because of this product and make sure that all the cell membranes are fluid and so that you know all cell membranes can talk to each other, every component. It's not just your heart, obviously it's your cardiovascular system because it's all the, it's all the transport mechanisms, you know, all the, blood vessels that are like a transport system and the heart is actually the pump that helps it happen. And so, so it affects cells all over the body. And if we haven't got these essential fatty acids, well, we can't make them, there is a lack. And what ends up happening is we end up taking medications for things that are going wrong without realizing it's actually our food. If we just improved our food intake, we'd be able to help our body help itself. You and I don't have to understand every detail about all these things work. Our body knows what to do, just give it the nutrients it's used to having. And then of course the phytosterols, the relationship I said, the sterile structure, um, which one of which comes from the plant. And because it, it just has such a similar structure, the body can recognize it and often it's absorbed in place of our own cholesterol. Um, and so it actually keeps our cholesterol levels in balance. So fascinating that all the medications that people are on and they probably don't realize that just some of these basic nutrients would be helping our bodies to do that job for them. Um, so it's important that we do learn that foods actually have these substances because people, when they take medications, learn nothing about their diet. As long as the numbers look good and the doctor says, oh, everything's doing fine, they keep doing what they ever did before because a medication is just keeping a lid on things. But if we were to actually bring the nutrients back into our food supply, we still don't have to think about it because our body says, thank you very much. I know exactly what to do with this. So this really, I think, shows in a, in a very easy way that just by, by going back to nature, watching nature's blueprint, looking at that little, that wheat, the grain, and saying, let's keep it intact, let's keep all the things that nature provides and encapsulate it and bring it back into the diet. And that's what we're doing. It's simply a different delivery system or form of food. Um, and provide that you provided that one respects nature and follows nature's blueprint, then we're really introducing something that the body is perfectly familiar with. It's not just something because it's fashionable or everybody else is doing it or there was some research somewhere. This, this is a product of old, you know, the, the wheat germ oil. We are just making sure that it's staying in our diet because the food industry 
most certainly isn't. So pretty much that's, I didn't want to make it too complicated. I hope that I've shown you that we go back to basics. I think that what we would use wheat germ oil for specifically would be for heart health and certainly for reproductive health and to make sure that those nutrients that I've talked about, essential fatty acids, get them back into our diet because they influence every single cell membrane, regardless of the heart and the reproductive system. Every part of the body needs them, but they have a very particular part to play um, in our reproductive processes and in our heart health. And that's where we found, um, and this product has been around many years, and we're now introducing it into Tanzania. I know that the Ugandans and the Kenyans have enjoyed using it, but this is how you can actually introduce it to people. Um, and people don't have to have something wrong with them to take supplementation. It's just to make sure that dietary gaps don't occur. And, we, and a supplement is just that. It's just topping up where there might be a, a small gap. Maybe you are eating very well. Maybe you, you know, you're making your own bread and you're milling your own stuff. That's fantastic. But just to make sure that we don't have any gaps, that's what Neolife wants to do. Not take your responsibility away from you, but make you healthier by putting all the right food components together. All right, so that's, that's what I have to say. Thank you, Paul. Thank you so much, Elise, for taking us uh, through that uh, um, 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 uh, launch session, which has uh, really enlightened us. Uh, personally, I've been able to learn a lot. I didn't know about uh, that product of wheat jam, and I believe everybody who is on the call, you have also be able to learn a lot. So we cannot thank you enough, Liz, for taking time to be able to uh, bring us this piece of information. And every other time, whenever we need help, you always come through for the team in East Africa. So we are grateful for what you do in terms of uh, a product information, product development, and positioning the products to us so that we can be able to sell them to our customers and also be able to use them and uh, feel the health benefits. So we want to thank you so much, Liz, for yeah. being with us tonight. And uh, we really appreciate uh, your time. So that was Liz Gitz sharing with us uh, uh, the product of uh, a wheat jam oil, which is uh, already in the market uh, for the Kenya and uh, Uganda, and today we are starting it in Tanzania. So from tomorrow, you'll be able to get the price list in, uh, in our DC. We'll be also be able to share it on the social media so that you can be able to start buying. But what I just want to say is the product is ready for purchase as early as now. If you can get to your back office, you can still buy it. But better still, you can walk to the warehouse tomorrow morning and you'll be able to buy yours. We don't have a lot of them. Um, in, in the country, we have just about, uh, just a, a number of cases, good enough. So I would advise you to purchase your first bottle to use now or even tomorrow morning so that you don't miss out on the benefits that Liz has been able to point out, which comes with the usage of this product. So at this point, I just want to bring a testimony and, uh, and a close, and that is going to come from our present team members who are on the call today. And I just want to appreciate the presence of uh, a lot of our pre president team members across East Africa who are on this call today. Uh, we have um, uh, from Kenya, we also have the, the present team members from Uganda and uh, basically we have our present team members from Tanzania. Uh, that is Dora and Binke. We have uh, Zubeda uh, Kichawele. We also have Osiana Sanga. But the person who is going to share a testimony and a close for our meeting today it's our present team members, Rose and Raymond Baruti. They have been able to use the product before. Uh, you know, when, whenever you have an, an, a product in East Africa, it's quite easy for him to be able to go across the East Africa countries. So they have been able to use it for themselves and some of their clients. And they are here to be able to share their testimony and also close the meeting for us today. Kwa hivo, Rose and Ray, kama mnanipata ni wakati wenu, Kuweza kuzungumza na sisi. Karibu ni sana. Asante sana, Paul. Hello, East Africa. My name is Raymond. I'm with Rose here, my partner. First of all, who, on behalf of Tanzania, I would like to thank a lot, uh, Liz, for the continued support. Liz, you are blazing to new life because you have been of great support. You have been training us a lot about the, uh, the products. 
And again, today that was a great session. Thank you so much because I've learned a lot about this uh, new product. Yeah, the science behind. It's very reassuring to know what New Life uh, are doing to make sure that we get the best product in, in, on, in, in the market. Thank you so much, Liz. God bless you. Uh, Brandon, Brandon, I think I saw you there. Thank you so much for your support. If you're still there, if you can hear me. Paul, Asante sana po. Uh, umekua mtu wa msaada sana 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 unaandaa mikutano sana 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 almost every day. Kwa wana jiulize wa Paulo hachoki. Maka kila siku we are there to, to, to support us. Thank you so much kwa uongozi wako. Asante sana. Uh, Ronald, thank you so much. You are doing a great job. So, tunashukuru sana 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 kwa kweli kwa kwa katika New Life kwa sababu tunapata sapoti kubwa sana nzuri sana kutuwezesha biashara yetu endelee vizuri sana. Uh, kama ulivyosema uh, Rose hapa atashare na sisi uh, bidhaa ya uh, botanical balance ni product ambayo kwa kweli tume tumetumia sana sisi wenyewe lakini pia tumeweza kushare na, na, na customers wetu mbalimbali na kwa kweli imekuwa na matokeo mazuri sana. Karibu Rose. Yeah, habari za jioni. Ya yeah, kama ulivyosema Ray uh, botanical balance ni product moja nzuri sana na kazi yake kubwa ni kuweka uyano mzuri wa sukari kwenye damu kwa lugha nyepesi tu na tumeitumia sisi wenyewe tumeona tofauti pia huwa inasaidia sana kwenye masuala ya watu wanataka ku lose weight nimejaribu kuwaka watu ambao kwenye program ya ku lose weight kwa hiyo imekuwa inawasaidia sana kuweza kupata matokeo ya haraka pia na kwa watu ambao wana tatizo la ugonjwa wa kisukari tumewapa pia wengi wameitumia tuna testimony moja ambayo ndio kwanza ilitushangaza sana huyu baba alikuwa ana kisukari kwa miaka mingi sana na mara ya mwisho tunaongea naye alikuwa amelazwa hospitali sukari ilikuwa inafika mpaka 28 kwa hiyo wakao wamemlazwa hospitali wanafanyia monitoring na kumpa dawa kuchoma sindano na hii sukari ikiwa ikishuka sana iko 15 16 alikuwa so weak hawezi kula kwa hiyo tulipokwenda kumtizama tukajaribu kumshauri anze kutumia hizi bidhaa kwa hiyo akaanza kutumia tukampatia neo life shake tukampatia pro vitality pamoja na botanical balance kwa hiyo akaanza kuzitumia uh, alikuwa ameshakaa hospitali kama 2 weeks lakini baada ya kuzitumia alitoka hospitali baada ya siku tatu akawa discharge wakaambia mbona usitane kwa sasa hivi imeanza kushuka kwa hiyo inabidi sasa uende ukakae nyumbani kwa sababu alikuwa ameshakaa hospitali muda mrefu na ndugu zake wamekuwa wakienda unajua nenda rudi inafika mahali watu wanachoka kwa mguzo ile mgonjwa. Kwa hiyo akae rudi nyumbani, akaanza kutumia zile kuendelea kutumia zile products na ameendelea vizuri. Alikuwa yuko so weak akaanza kukutuma hit kidogo, ngozi kaanza kuwa nzuri mwenye anachekesha. Eh, sasa hivi naweza hata kupiga picha maana yake zamani ilikuwa za siti za miti. Kwa hiyo ameendelea vizuri sana na amepunguza sana kutumia dawa. Kwa hiyo alikuwa alipo kwenye sindano kila wakati anatumia tu dawa pale ambapo anaona kuna sima na mara nyingi ananiambia labda ni kimisbehave kwenye kula lakini sasa hivi am okay kama nikipata upata utaratibu mzuri wa kula situmii kabisa dawa kwa kweli botanical balance imeleta tofauti kubwa sana kwa watu ni tatizo la kisukari asanteni sana asante rose um kwa kumalizia tu mkutano wetu wa leo nafikiri wagavi ambao tulikuwa kwenye kick off meeting moja kati ya mambo ambayo tulikuwa na nao ni tusiwe na maneno mengi sana huu ni mwaka wa kazi tu Hiyo na mimi naomba niongee kwa ufupi sana kwanza kumshukuru Mungu kwa kuwa katika hii biashara kwa kuwa associated na New Life kwa sababu katika muda ambao tumefanya hii biashara katika miaka zaidi ya 15 kwa kweli tunamshukuru sana Mungu kwa support ambayo tunapata toka kwenye kampuni kwa kwa jinsi ambayo tuna bidhaa za uhakika bidhaa ambazo zina maswali unaenda kuuza ukiwa kitu wa mbele Kwa tuna kila sababu ya kumshukuru Mungu kuwa katika hii biashara. Na leo tena kwa mara nyingine tena tumeongezewa bidhaa nyingine. Tunashukuru sana New Life, uongozi mzima wa New Life wametuongeza bidhaa, bidhaa zetu kwa kweli ni bora sana. Ni bidhaa ambazo zinafanyiwa utafiti wa kutosha, zinatoka katika vyanzo vyanzo vya asili kabisa vya kula vyetu. Na wanatumia sayansi, wanatumia hela nyingi sana kuhakikisha kwamba bidhaa tunazozipata kwa kweli ni nzuri na za uhakika na za kuaminika kabisa. Kwa hiyo unapoongezewa bidhaa nyingine zaidi um, katika market yetu maana yake tunaongezewa options tuna tunakuwa na choices nyingi zaidi tunapata bidhaa nyingi zaidi za kutuwezea kufanya biashara yetu kwa urahisi zaidi uh, kwa hiyo tunawashukuru sana New Life kwa kwa, kwa, kwa hili na tunaahidi kwa kweli tunaenda kufanya kazi kwa bidii zaidi tunaenda kutumia fursa hii kuhakikisha kwamba tunakuza biashara tunahakikisha watu wengi zaidi wanafikiwa na hizi bidhaa na wanakuwa na afya iliyo bora zaidi 
na wanakuwa na maisha ambayo ni ya furaha na yenye afya. Naamini kabisa huko ndani kuna wageni ambao wamekuja kwa mara ya kwanza. Um, nachoweza kuambia ni kwamba Neo Life is the best. Tuna kampuni ambayo ni bora ambayo haina mpinzani. Hatuna mtu kufanana naye. Kwa hiyo wageni kama uko huko ndani leo hakuna wakati bora sana kuanza kuwa associate na Neo Life. Kuanza kujiunga, kujiunga na Neo Life na kwanza biashara kama wakati huu. Kama nilivyosema hapo mwanzo mwaka huu tunataka kwa watu wa vitendo zaidi. Tunapunguza maneno, tunaenda kutenda zaidi ili tupate matokeo mazuri zaidi. Kwa hiyo kama ni mtu alikukaribisha kuja kusikiliza mkutano huu jinsi gani tunaanzisha product mpya, basi mtafute huyo mtu mshukuru kwa kukushirikisha and then mwambie unataka kuanza mara moja biashara hii ili uweze kupata faida kamili za kuwa 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 kuwa, kuwa pamoja na na New Life. Na sisi ambao ni wagavi ambao tuko kwenye biashara tunafanya kazi nzuri sana so far tunamshukuru Mungu sana kwa kutuwezesha lakini tunatakiwa kufanya zaidi kama nilivyosema naomba nirudie tena huu ni mwaka wa vitendo tumkwache maneno tufanye kazi zaidi tuingie mtaani tuende kusema kuongea na watanzania watu wengi sana wanahitaji fursa sasa kuliko wakati mwingine wote wanahitaji bidhaa sasa kuliko wakati mwingine wote kwa hiyo sisi tuna wajukumu tuna wajibu kuhakikisha kwamba watu wengi zaidi wanafikiwa na biashara hii wanafikiwa na fursa hii ili wao watakapokuwa na maisha yaliyo bora zaidi manake hata sisi tunaweza kufikia malengo yetu ambayo tulitufanya tukaanza kuanza hii biashara. Kwa hiyo kwa mara nyingine tena naomba nishukuru sana mwongozi wote wa New Life, naomba niwashukuru viongozi wote ambao wako katika hii call kwa kazi ambayo tunaendelea kuifanya. Asanteni sana, usiku mwema na Mungu atubariki sana. Thank you so much Ray and Rose for closing our meeting today. Asanteni sana tumefurahi sana kwa kuweza kutufungia mkutano na kwa kila mmoja I've seen we also have a people from South Africa a brown and brought a team of people we really appreciate your coming I'm sure if you are in Zulu you have understood a bit of Swahili there and uh, I, um, you'll be able to you have been able to understand what Rose and Ray we are saying but it's on, only good things and exciting because our uh, Tanzania our business is growing so the we have been able to really share what is happening in Tanzania and what is building the business. So I just want to take this time to thank you so much. I also want to thank uh, uh, Fred, uh, Fred Garcia, our director for Distributor Nations, is also on this call for East Africa. Anita Ingrid is also on this call, our distributor center our manager to Uganda. She's also on this call. And we just want to thank all the staff members who are on the call today for coming in to be able to do to help us do the product launch which we have just done for Tanzania so Brandon also um, Rose and Ray has been able to mention you thank you so much for being part of our business you always come in at every point when we need an assistance and we really learn a lot from you so thank you so much for coming in today so I just want to thank everyone on the call Liz thank you so much once again for being with us and um, Ronald, thank you so much with your Tanzania team for organizing this launch. Uh, so from me, thank you so much for joining. So tomorrow, as uh, you have been able to see, we are going to have uh, a new distributor orientation, same time, same link. So all the new distributors for the month of February, you are invited in that uh, new distributor orientation so that we can be able to make sure that uh, we give you more information on what is supposed to be done and that you can be able to move from where you are to the next level of success. So thank you so much for coming to the meeting today. From me and the rest of the team, a lovely night. See you soon. Thank you so much and God bless you. Bye-bye.